What's going on? Hello. This is a big van. Big van for a big lad. It's pretty nice. It's not, it's a bit of a heat. <laughs> Wasn't there a hole in it when I first saw it? Yeah, the chap I bought it from reckoned it had been crashed into. He goes, it's been crashed into, but it was crashed into by a Porsche. So, value. Uh, uh, that's a good thing, but he was quite impressed by that. It's a, it's a new shape one. Well, when this video is in 2023, it's new shape now, but um, it's a pretty knackered one. I wish we'd actually got a better one because our first attempt at doing one of these has gone better than initially thought. And now I've got a really cool cool camper van, but in a bit of a knackered old chassis. That's okay. But it's all right. That's a work in progress. Um, Can we have a look inside? Come in. Lights. This one came about because We've been desperately trying not to get distracted by the girl in the red dress. Air quote. Distractions. And this was like a freaking big distraction, but the boys at the custom house, they were just like, can we get a craft out? And I was like, I want one too, but it's going to be a distraction. Long story short, this one came up, got it, stripped it, 3D scanned it, threw it into CAD, had a bit of a think, and this is sort of what we came up with. And while it's not perfect, it's pretty good because I won't give it back. I've just stolen it. Okay, what's up first? Shower. You turn on this guy, which is a big inverter. So now that fuck knows what is in that box of magicianness, but it allows the power to go from 12 volts to 240 volts, which allows you to charge laptops, but also it heats up. Imagine like a massive kettle, like a huge cylinder drum. So that's full of water, turns that on, heats up the water, go for your run, come back. Your kettle's full of hot water in here. Whoa. Yeah, so that's warm water. We've done that and then warm water here too. Amazing. It's pretty epic. It's pretty I didn't think I needed a sink. Now I've got a sink. It's pretty fun to have a sink. I can imagine. And coffee station. This is this is a bit more simple. The problem with I think quite a lot of vans is if you have like a big ass fuck off gas thing, when you start traveling into different countries, there's like different regs different fittings for different bottles, Caligas, this, that. Long story short, these boys work forever and then you don't have to worry about them, just go buy a new one. And the cool thing about that, you can move them out there, cook there, and then this is usually me, computer, emailing. On, to coffee. on the toilet. I used to sit on the toilet. The flies, bin, fridge, I'm worried to open there's so many beers in here that there's little like explodes. Oh, oh my god, why is there so many beers in here? So we, we did a sailing event and then these were like, oh, yeah. Wow. I lifted the van full of accessories and stuff that we're working on. Perfect for your pine can storage. Perfect. All score one's got a good go in this van. Um, there's just all sorts of interesting things that work and don't work so great. This is a good utilization of the, the panel. Yeah, again, like we didn't quite get it right, but it's functional as hell. If we do another one, there'll be tons more refinements. When you come over here, you can read your book. Oh, a little reading light. That's pretty nice, huh? That's very nice. There's, this... there's one for you on that side. Oh, how cute. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh yeah. And storage. This is storage. So this actually drawer comes out the back. Do you want to follow me? Yeah. Where it gets rid of some of the grains. It's usually full of beer. And then this floor piece here comes up and sits on this little recess here. Mm -hmm. And then the bed drops out the roof. Don't hit the fin. Don't hit the fin. A little bit of fin. And there's your double bed. <laughs> Incredible. But the reality is you don't often sleep in it. So Get it out of the way. Perfect. Most people have got like this whole bed set up this there the full time. Which is a waste of space. I reckon so. Solid. I'd rather have your pals in it. Of course. This is sailor boy shit. Ratchets, pulleys, cleats, jammers, all this shit came from sailing, which if you think about these bigger vans is like a boat, I reckon. Functional storage, shit doesn't rattle, make sure it goes properly. This is a boat. Doesn't float very well, but goes around corners pretty good. <laughs> so what you need, man. <laughs> I'm talking shit. Should we go? It looks pretty cool from a distance. Don't get close up. <laughs> Pull that out of it, put some filler in there. And I think the the clever bit was to um 
anti-foul on a boat when it that's like what you do on the waterline. Raptor <sighs> went to town on the poor old girl. That's an eight inch stitches and steel steel wheel with a Falcon Wild Peak tire, which is pretty freaking good setup. Works really well. Tow bar, so like to tow shit. Dab mode activated. Yeah. This is a ladder, which is a T5 ladder, which we chopped up a bit. It's a bit of a sample, but it seems to go really good. Winch. What's the winch for? You can winch a motorbike up the back. That's sick. We did it to Mali and didn't take any, not one photo. Freaking idiots. We were pretty drunk. We were. I'll tell you what's up here. Okay. The four roof bars. Yeah. Solar panels. Yeah. And a Tula roof box. Nice. And some roof bar pads. And a good dent in this door from where I winched the motorbike up and it's better dented the door. Let me come up quick and have a little nosy. That's a big roof box. Yeah. And sodas wired in all the time. Yeah, charges the two leisure batteries you got going in there when you're chilling. Windows in the back? That's quite nice actually. A window in this side, but only on one side, not on that side. Which is really handy if you're in England because you drive on the right, your right hand side. And if you pull out junctions, you can still see that way. Clever. It's quite clever. Um, and in the cabin, it is a two plus one, which is rad. And then my little son Ernie can sit in the middle, which is really cool. No aircon, no nothing. Just how we like him. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's got a new Stitches and Steel Craft Third seat covers in. And we've got a windscreen cover. And then, yeah. The daily. This is my pride and joy. Love it's it. It's not really my pride and joy, but I just can't stop using it because it's so good to. Once you got one, you can't not have one. Sorry, Max, you need to sell your van and get a craft Sick. <gasps> it's only taken six years.